Hi everyone, we're making Mexican bean salad today. This is a no cooking type of recipe. We're gonna be using canned beans and we're gonna be cutting up some fresh vegetables to put into it. And I tell you, this is the first video that I've shot uh, since going into uh, shelter in place. And so we're gonna be using things that we already have, using up produce and things that I have. Uh, we really shouldn't be out there shopping uh, in crowds and stuff, so hopefully you won't either. Use what you have, improvise when you need to, okay? I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how to make this delicious bean salad right after this. And before we get into our recipe, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll be notified every week when my new videos come out. I don't want you to miss them because we're always cooking up something delicious and healthy. All right, let's go over the ingredients. First up, we're gonna use a couple of cans of beans. We're using canned beans because, well, it's just easier, right? And during this pandemic, we wanna make this easy, and I'm sure you probably got some beans in your cupboard. So I'm using kidney beans and white beans, and I've drained them and I've rinsed them. We'll also need, I'm gonna use some corn. I'm using some organic corn here. Now, I've chopped up a few vegetables. We've got some chopped up tomato. That's just what I happen to have. And then I did the super fine dice here on some red onion, some celery, and some red bell pepper. And I also have some pumpkin seeds that we're gonna add to this for a nice little crunch. Now for our dressing ingredients. This is the important part. We have some balsamic vinegar, apple cider vinegar, olive oil. I'm using some fresh herbs that I happen to still have in my fridge, which are some parsley and some organic fresh basil. I love to add basil to my uh, recipes. It's just a wonderful uh, herb to use. Now I've also got some fresh lemon juice, lime juice, some salt, garlic powder. In this container, I have some ground cumin, some ground coriander, and some chili powder. Now for my sweetener, you, we have to balance out all this acid, so we have to add some sort of sweetener. Now I don't like to use regular sugar, so I like to use, if some of you have been watching my videos, you know I like date paste. It's a wonderful sweetener, lots of vitamins and minerals and fiber. It's just a, it's a good way to go. It's low on the glycemic index. So it works and it's easy to make and I have a video for you if you wanna learn how to make it, but I can tell you it's very simple and very quick. Boil up some dates that are pitted in just some water and then you just simmer it for 20 minutes, pop it in the blender, add a little of that liquid back until you make a nice paste like what we have here and you've got a great sweetener that'll store in the fridge for about a week. If you don't have date paste or you wanna use something else, you can try my next choice would be maple syrup. That works really well too. But in the end, use what you have so that you can try out this delicious salad. So we're gonna start off by making our dressing. We're gonna take some olive oil and we're gonna place it into a bowl. Now with this recipe, ideally what we wanna do is make the dressing and then marinate just the beans in it overnight. That would be the, the best way to do this recipe because what happens is the, the flavors meld into the beans and it just gets really good. Some recipes are like that. They're always better the next day. But if we put all the vegetables in, then they tend to get a little bit on the more soft side. And that might not, you know, you might not like that. So if you can do it, go ahead and marinate the beans overnight. If you can only do it for an hour, that's okay too. It all works. So here we go with our apple cider vinegar. Now our balsamic, we're just gonna add a little bit of balsamic to this. Next, we're gonna add our salt to this. Sprinkle that in, and you can always adjust these seasonings if you like. Garlic powder, those spices that I showed you. Ground cumin, coriander, and chili powder. I'm gonna start stirring it a little bit now. I'm gonna add the lemon juice and the lime juice. And now for our sweetener. I'm only gonna add part of this. I have three, about three tablespoons worth, and I don't know if I wanna use it all until I taste it. So we're gonna put some of that in there now. And then we're gonna chop up some of our fresh herbs, the parsley and the basil. Toss that in. And we'll just give that a whisk. I'm gonna give that a taste and see if we need to adjust any of the seasonings. I'm gonna go with a little more salt. And I'm gonna add a little bit more chili powder. I'm gonna give it a little splash. 
for just a little bit of heat, just a hint. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna place this into our beans and then we're just gonna let that sit for a little bit and then we'll add the rest of our stuff. All right, let's pour that dressing right in there and get everything in there. And we're gonna let that marinate for about a half an hour at least. I'm gonna give this a toss. And we'll come back in a bit and add all the rest of the ingredients. It's been about a half an hour. Uh, I'm gonna add the rest of my ingredients to this. So we'll start with the celery. Toss that in. I like to use that super fine dice because everything mixes in so nicely and you don't get big chunks of it. And I just think it tastes better. Now I'm gonna do some onions. I don't know if I'm gonna do all of this, but we're gonna do a good portion of it. Now keep in mind when you refrigerate this, let's say you're gonna serve it the next day, for example. Uh, you wanna take this out of the refrigerator about a half an hour to an hour before you're actually gonna have people eat it, right? Because when you use olive oil and you refrigerate it, it tends to um, get hard and, and get kind of gel-like. So you wanna let that thaw out a little bit and come up to room temperature. Here's our bell peppers. I'm gonna toss all those in. All right, now let's add some yellow. I'm gonna add some of this corn. I'm probably not gonna add it all. And we've got our tomatoes, toss those in. The last thing we have are some pumpkin seeds, which just add a little crunch. You can use any nuts that you like. And here you go, guys. This is the finished product. All right, I'm gonna serve just a little bit up here so I can take a taste. Very delicious, guys. Nice and refreshing. We've got the crunch of the fresh bell peppers and the celery, and the onions, all those flavors coming together. Very fresh tasting and very, um, it has just the right amount of balance, I think, between citrus and, you know, the acidic part and the sweet part. I think it's delicious. So, hope you guys give this a try. All right, that's our recipe for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment and be well out there. Take care and we'll see you next time.